smart plugs. I have done quite a few videos on smart plugs and uh, this is no different to all the others except you can actually monitor your energy costs which I need to do because my bills are getting ridiculous at the moment, same as everyone else's. But obviously I run a little bit more with my lighting, my cameras and stuff like that, and my PCs. And it's costing me a fortune, literally. So when I was contacted by this company, Atree, and they said, oh, would you like to do a review on some smart plugs? I went, yeah, right, but I want the four plug one. Because I want to plug in four different devices. I'm actually going to plug in, I think, Mainly lighting, and one up there, not that one there, but I've got another one man there somewhere. So it's around. I've got a lamp over there that is a smart lamp. I don't really need a plug for it, but I might plug it in there. Also, the, my main computer is running at the moment. I am going to plug it in one of these smart plugs into that, and also into that computer over there. Not the one under the desk because it's not there at the moment. I've moved it because I've done another video for it. So with that, let's quickly go through what, what you can actually connect. So an app, so a controller, Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, the Wi-Fi connectivity only works on 2.4 gigahertz, but what I'm going to do, because I run 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, I'm going to try and connect them, the plug that is, to the 2.4 gigabytes connection without turning off the 5 gigahertz connection, if that makes sense. So I run dual band. So it might work, it might not. I have tried this in the past and I've had some success. Before that, it never used to work, but I'm hoping it will work. So it saves you messing about disconnecting your 5 gigahertz and all that. We have voice control, voice control, yeah? That means you can talk to Google Assistant and she who should not be named. And you can set timers. Yeah, there you go. Works with her and works with him. This is a free pin plug version, but I will also stick in, in case you're interested, a global version, uh, you know, in the video description. So, say for instance, you're in America, click on the global one, it should take you to the American version of this. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Like I said, it's just four plugs, and they look like just normal plugs. Maybe a bit on the thicker side. Some instructions, as you would expect. I will read them, of course. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else in the box. And that is it. Four plugs, plug it into your mains. Make sure that when you're first setting this up, make sure you've got it fairly close to your router, router, so that you get the best connection possible. And then all you need to do is download the software onto your phone install the software, you have to register as always, and hopefully, if all goes well, it should just work. So uh, with that, let's give her a little try, shall we? I'm gonna have a quick read of the instructions just to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing, but guessing that, or looking at that, uh, it's got a Q code. So I'm just gonna scan that. This video is sponsored by Provido VPN. It provides top-notch online security and privacy protecting through its no-logs policy and robust encryption protocols. The VPN offers a user-friendly interface and a wide range of servers in different locations around the world to ensure faster connections and smoother browsing. Provido VPN supports multiple devices and platforms including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and Linux and allows up to 10 simultaneously connections. The server also offers features like kill switch, split tunneling and DNS leak protection to further enhance security and privacy. Provido VPN offers 24-7 customer support through its live chat and email ensuring prompt and helpful assistance wherever needed. The VPN server offers various pricing plans to suit different budgets and a 30-day money-back guarantee ensures a risk-free trial. Check out the link in the video description for more details. Right, plugs out the way, Q code. Browse website, come up with a video as well if you want to download. Smart Life, oh my God, I've got Smart Life. I've already got it, I don't even need to download it, I've got that one. Let me see if it's a new version though, just in case. Install, oh it is a new one. Smart Life, Smart Living. I've got loads of them. It's pending. 58%, 61, blah, blah, blah. It must be a newer version. I'll show you in a second, just to confirm it. 
I'm not sure if you can see that on my camera. I did change the settings. Let me just quickly go for it. I agree. Uh, login. Uh, oh, actually. It, oh, it does remember me. Right. Yeah, I thought I had it. No, so I've already got it all set up. So to get to this point, you need to do your registration, do your allow, so you can get in there, and any other bits you need to do. Right, so you set up your account, you're logged in, yes. Everything's raring to go. You've got the little plus button up there, see that? Before you press that, something to bear in mind. Now, this will only connect on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It will not work if you've got 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connected. So you need to make sure that your router is set for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now, it might work on a dual one if you've got 2.4 and 5. It didn't work for me, but it might work for you. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, one more thing. You can only connect one at a time, all right? You can't do them all together. Now, there's two options. You can either press this button here and click Add Device, or you can do what I'm going to do right now. It might work, it might not, but I think it will. So you plug the plug in. Yeah, don't have it already plugged in. Plug it in once you've got this up, yeah? And you've done your 2.4. Plug that in. Now, if it doesn't flash, hold the button in for about 5, 10 minutes, yeah? 5, 10 minutes. 5, 10 seconds. 5 or 10, all right? Hold it in until it starts flashing. So all you do, you hold that in like that. Lots. Five seconds, it made a little click and it's come back on. Yes, now what's this? It's like magic, it ain't gonna work, is it? You just know it. Now, if it doesn't pop up, because sometimes it might just pop up, and oh, look, I've just found a new device. I've had it, I've been having a little practice and it popped up, but not this time. So, add device. Now, you want socket Wi Fi, that may be there. Click on that. Now, set up your Wi Fi, make sure you're logged in if you need to log in. Connect to your Wi Fi. There you go, like that, click next, next, uh, we're blinking, yeah, we're blinking, click next, blinking, and there it is, come up straight away, within seconds, click that, oh, hang on, what's it doing, device, it's being added, so give it a little while, uh, come round, job done, right, now you can change the name of it, I'm going to actually call it one of, one of four, I thought that might be appropriate because, well, one of four. Done. And that is it, that is set up. So now we can turn it on and off. Off. On. I'm going to do some other things, but I want to set them all up first. So I'm going to do this bit off screen so, you know, it don't bore you. Hopefully you've set it all up by now and you've installed the plugs and everything's working fine. I'm just going to show you some of the scenarios or a couple of scenarios that you might want to try out. For instance, the lighting. I've got two sets of lighting. I've angled them so they don't blind you. Now you can just press a button. I'm not sure which one's going to do what. And that does that one. And I believe that one is that one. No, it's a camera. <laughs> just turn the camera on give it a second there you go that one is that one and the fourth one is the kettle i've i've rigged up my kettle it's got water in it and just come on see that it's powered up you give it a couple of seconds it'll start heating up can you hear that turn it off let's turn everything off for a second all right Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you can do scenarios and I've set one up. So basically go to scenes. I'm not going to show you how to set it up. It's quite easy. Just, just watch it. Just read it. Now I'm going to turn all sockets on. So I'm going to turn the two lights on, the camera on and the kettle all at the same time. There's my scenes. Can you see that? You're on? Yeah. All right. Turn everything on. Press OK. And voila. That should come on. Takes a bit of well, it takes a few seconds. There you go. Kettle's on. Now turn them all off. <laughs> Again. So all you do to make that work is you add the scenes or you add each individual socket to the scenes. And that's how it works. So on. Works really easy. <laughs> and off. Watch. Press OK at the end just to say it's, you know, it's done it done what you want is it to now if you want to just do it individually like I showed you earlier say for instance we just want the lights on so it'd be it'd be number 
I've got it, I changed it by the way, I've done Studio Light 1 and 2, 3, 4. So on, on and on. Voila, very easy. Also, if you press that, where it says light, it will go to the actual individual one, and you can do a timer, your electricity, I'm going to quickly show you that in a second, electricity and settings, all in now. So the way you do it is you select which one you want to do. So say, for instance, we turn them off, and we want the kettle one. So press kettle, it's on. You go, go to the actual device itself. You can then do electric. And it will show you how much electric it is using. It's currently powered at 2,766.4 watts, and the current is 11,933, sorry, 11,093 milliamps, and the voltage is 234. It does fluc fluctuate a little bit. See that? Yeah, works well, really easy. And it shows you a date of when you actually used it or when you were boiling the water and that. Let me turn it off because it's quite noisy. And off. Yeah, very easy. Let's just put my lights on because they can do the same as well. And we'll go to, you can only do this individually. Go to your lights, go to your electrics, and it's showing power consumption is zero at the moment. It takes a few seconds. There it goes. It's now showing 30 watts or 30.2 watts and the current is 204 milliamps and the voltage is 245.0 volts in May this year, 2023. Yeah, very easy to use. There's lots of different scenarios where you can use this. You can connect it to She Who Shall Not Be Named or Google Assist. Either one works. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to set that up because I haven't set it up myself. But should be quite easy to do. You will have to go into the actual app, not into this app and set it up. So you will have to join them together. Like I said, I'm not going to do a video on that. So they're linked up together and it should just work. So with that, what do you think? Definitely gives my thumbs up. It's very easy to do. Once you set it up, just take a bit of time thinking about what you're actually doing. Let me just turn that off and that one. Yeah, very easy to do. I have no issues with it whatsoever. They work. If you want to monitor your electricity, you know, you can do that with these, but you will have to download or buy the plugs. The software is free for you to use. It comes part of the package, and yeah, it just works. There is a lot to do on the actual software, though. Something to bear in mind, there's a lot of features on there you may never use, or you might use, I don't know. But there is a lot of features where you can add things, you can delete things, you can do different scenes and stuff like that. So it has, I'll quickly just go through this, it has home scenes, smart and me. So basically me is setting up your account and things like that. If you need to change your password, stuff like that. Oh, screen savers just come on, Let's turn it off, got to turn the volume off. So with that, like I said just a minute ago, definitely gets my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you think you're going to buy one of these. If you are, Check out the affiliated links in the video description. They are affiliated, I do get a small kickback, but not at any cost to you or any extra cost to you. You still pay the normal price, whatever it was, whether you click on that or not. So with that, if you like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.